So today we are going to do EIGRP. EIGRP means Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol. So when we talk about EIGRP, it's good that you know that it is a dynamic routing protocol. Now, what do I mean by dynamic routing protocol? It's, this means that we're going to inst install EIGRP on the different routers and we're going to learn remote networks by sharing the routing table. That's the way we're going to learn remote networks. So I don't have to go and configure each route how to reach a remote network. It's going to learn dynamically automatically it's going to learn so that's let's now see the full characteristic of ei job so what are your four characteristic we have one rapid convergence why rapid convergence because ei job will learn the routes the remote how to reach the remote networks automatically and dual algorithm is being used to calculate the shortest path to the remote network. So that's why when we are going to display the routing table, in the routing table, where we where EIGRP, where a route has been learned by EIGRP, you will see a capital D in front of that route. That capital D stands for dual algorithm. Another characteristic is reduced bandwidth usage. RIP was sending routing table to all its interfaces every 30 seconds, whether there has been a change in topology or no change in topology. Whereas EIGRP will send periodic updates. It's going to send updates only that when there is a topology change. So that's why reduce bandwidth because every now and then it's not going to send its routing table. EIGRP supports VLSM, so whether the network it can it can adapt to large networks. Another characteristic, it's going to use metric to select the best routes from all available routes for destination. So the metric it uses is bandwidth, load, delay, reliability, and then MTU. And EIGRP uses the, ad, it's, ad, it's administrative distance is all right, so if its administrative distance is 90, you will see where the route has been learned by IIJRP, you will see a 90 there. This is by default, we can change it. I'm going to show you today how we can also change it. So before we start configuring EIJRP, we are going to first test if all LAN is having connectivity. Good, Ryo and laptop zero, it's connected. Laptop one, because I've already configured the IP. So you will see here it's written successful. You can check my cursor. So laptop one with Ryo, laptop zero. I'm going to check this one now with Jaberg. Okay, Rayo, it's successful. Next, we check Peru, Wolf, Joburg. Then we'll check PC0, Wolf, Peru. Good. Then we're going to check. Peru with Lombini. Then we'll check Lombini with laptop 2. I think we've checked all of them. So they are connecting. 
Okay, so the IP configuration is okay. Now we're going to start with configuring AI Joppy. So here we have three networks with Ryu. So this means we'll have to configure AI Joppy with three routes. I'm going to do it on a notepad just to, so that you can see it better. So router EIGRP, let's put it 100. So here we have three networks. We have one network here. We have this network 172, 168.20.0. So it's 255.255.255.0. This is for your job. So we put the network address and the subnet mask. Next, we have the other network, 122.168.30.0. Again, it's a slash 24. This means this is the subnet mask. Now, these are the two networks. So the third network is... 10 0, 0, 0, this one, this network, 255, 255, 255, 252. So there are three networks. So I'm, I'm going to configure all the networks that are connected to this router. My router here is Ryu. Now, what do I configure EIJRP? So once I've configured my EIJRP, my routing table will contain EIJRP routes let's before i install this route let's check rayu this is my router rayu all right rayu enter here configure terminal no i'm not going to enter this i say here show ip route what does show ip route do it's going to display the routing table Show IP route. I'm going to have three C's here. This means I have three directly connected network. I don't have any remote network. How to reach the remote network? To know how to reach remote network, like here we have all these network, we won't be able to reach here until we configure AI job. Let's say here, I'll do this one. I try to ping laptop to. It's going to tell me unsuccessful. It's failed because I haven't configured routes how to access remote network. So this is why I have to configure EIJRP. Now, once I add this, my routing table will start populating my remote network and once all the routers are being installed and they are learning their routing tables their neighbors routing table but here it doesn't have on this interface and this interface it does not have to send a routing table because we don't have a router if we don't have a router connected to that interface it's use it will be a misuse of my bandwidth to send the routing table on these interfaces. So I have to say that this interface is passive. Gig zero zero, and I think this one is. This is a passive interface. And if I want to, if I have an IP route configured on the router and I want it to propagate, and I want all my static route as well to prop propagate the network, like IP route, all the, the routes that has been, uh, all the static routing routes, all the manually configured route that has reached my remote net to reach my remote network. If I have, if ever I have this, then I have to put the command redistribute static. 
So this means if I have configured static routes on this router, how to reach certain network, the other routers can also learn these routes. If only I have, it has, it, because these routes will go together with my routing table if I've put redistribute static. So here I'll do it this way. I'm going to put it here. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to put it in configure terminal. And I paste it here. And here it is. I'm going to write memory to save my configuration. Yeah, that's okay. Now we're going to do for Jaberg. This router is Jaberg. Now here we have, here we have, uh, I'm going to type it here. So I'm going, if I've configured EIJP 100 here, it has to be 100 here. If it's 50, it's, this routing table will not be able to talk to this routing table. It can only speak to the same autonomous system numbers. Now here we have one, two, three, three networks. Okay. We have one, two, three, and all three networks are connected to a router. So in this case, we don't have any passive interface. The different networks are, we have 10, this is here, this network is okay. Then we have 11.0.0.0. And then here it's, 252 because it's slash 30 here it's 14.0.0.0 0.0.0 and here again it's a slash 30 it's how we're going to do it now i'm going to copy this and i'm going to put it on jubber To paste it here. Good. Now I'm going to write memory. So you see, it's already it's already built an adjacency with Rayu here. It sees that there is a connection here. So write memory. Now I want to do this one. Let's do this bit here because I want to show you a few things. Now again, it will be router EIJP. Now I'm a Lombini. So router EIJP 100. We have one, two, three networks. We have this network, this network, and this network that's connected to Lombini. So network, network um, 13.0.0.0, The other network is 14.0.0. .0. And this one is 12.0.0. So you see it gets it's already getting this adjacency here. It's already now it sees that it has an adjacency with the other router. I'll continue network 12.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Two five five two five five two five five two five two. 
we have one passive interface because we don't want our routing table to go on this link. So it's gig zero zero zero. This becomes passive. So that the routing table is not advertised on this interface. So let's write memory. Uh, okay, before we continue, I just show you something more. If I have here router EIGRP hundred. If I don't remember my commands, I just put a question mark and I'm going to see what other different commands I can use under router EI job B. Let's say I want to put distance. No, by default here, let's see, it's it must have learned by now different routes. Andrew Berg, let's see. Show IP route. Show IP route. All right. So dual algorithm is being used. D, capital D. So when uh, we have a capital D, we know that this route is a route learned by, through EIGRP. Now it's 12.0. I am on Joburg and 12.0.0 is where I am on Joburg. Now I have to cross Peru to reach here or I have to cross Lombini to reach here. So it's a remote network for Joburg because it has to traverse this router to reach this network. So it has, it used dual algorithm to know how to reach it. So since I haven't yet con configured Peru, it has to go through this. So that's why it's written 14.0.0. So Joburg will come on this interface to come to this network. 14.0.0.2. 50 sec 50, 52 seconds ago, it learned this route for a routing table uh, when it received the routing table from Lombini. And now check. We have this dual algorithm that indicates this route has been learned by EIGRP. We also see here the administrative distance 90. If I wanted to change this administrative distance, what happened? I'm going to come and Lumbini here. Okay. So I'm, I'm under router EI job only. So let's see if I change this distance, I put it 45, less than 90 to reach the network. 192, 165, 25.0. No, uh, 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 to reach, to pass through this 45. Yeah, to pass through 14.0.0.0 for this network and this interface. We have to use the wildcard mouse zero 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 dot three because it's two five five two five five two five five dot two five two. So wildcard mouse is zero 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 dot three. When I'm changing the administrative distance is being changed here. Now I'm going to show you. Let's see other commands we have. We can change the metric. We distribute static is here. If I want to, I don't want to auto sum, I want to disable auto summary. So I'm going to put no auto summary. All right. Now here, write memory. 
I've saved it. Now, in the meantime, let's let's now start with Peru. Let's configure Peru. Peru is here. So the network that we have, router, EIGRP 100, network, 192.167.25.0. So this is uh, Peru here. So we are going to configure EIGRP now on Peru. So router EIGRP 100 network. So we have these three networks 11.0.0.0. Uh, it's 255.255.255.252. The other network is 12.0.0.0 here. And the third network is. 192.167.25.0. Then it's a slash 19. So here, see if it's a slash 19, it's a 16. Uh, 224.0. Forever, I'm going to redistribute static. No, I don't want it to summarize the root, so I'm going to say no auto summary. Get write memory. I think I've done most of them. All right, so now I'm going to show you. Rio and Laptop 2 failed in the beginning prior to installing AI Joppy. Now let's try to do it again and see. Rio and Laptop 2. Still failing. Did I configure the bug? Yes. Ryu and Lombini. Successful. So Ryu and Lombini is able to connect. So it has to, it's a remote network, Lombini. Now let's try laptop with PC0. It's successful. So it's able to cross all these networks to reach here. So this means I've configured correctly. Let me check if I've configured laptop too. I think now it should work. Rayo Laptop 2. Failing. Rayo Laptop 2. So did I configure 132.10.0.0? I think I haven't configured this route. So let's see. Wait, let's troubleshoot. Show run. So run and I'll go into the router AI Joppy here. Ah, so I've already seen it. So here I've put 13.0.0. I haven't put this one, 130.10.0.0. It has, this router has got one, two, three routes. 14.0, 13, 12 is not in it. 
network 12.0 is not in it. No, it is. 12 40, and 14. Is it 13 about? I think this is not. Let's uh, start and try to ping all the networks. So you will see here I have Rayo. It has to ping a Peru. If it's if the EIJP is well configured on this, so it has to be able to ping Peru. Rayo has to be able to talk to PC0. These are remote networks, so it's successful. Now Rayo comes to Lombini. It is successful. No, it fails. Rayo to Lombini fails. Let me try again. Rayo Lombini. I think there is a route that has not been well configured here. Let me try. So run. There's a route that has not been well configured. So when I do show run, I'm going to get the routes here. No, I have lost configuration. So now we have the configuration for Lumbini. I have configured Lumbini again. To access this network, I've uh, changed the administrative distance to 40. But, all right, so we have a wildcard mouse when we change the administrative distance. So these are the three networks. Write memory. Now let's see. If I do laptop two and Joburg, does it ping? Yes, it is. Laptop two, PC zero. Yeah, it is successful. You can set here. Laptop two, two laptop zero here. It's successful here. So this means I can reach all remote network. If I come on my command prompt here, I'm going to ping 172.168.20.100. This Twenty dot hundred. That's the IP. Now let's check here. So we are having the ICMP eco reply. So the ICMP eco reply and loss is zero percent. All right. So this means I can I have configured my EIJP correctly. It can reach all the remote networks. Now, I want to show you something. I want to, from Rayu, if I have to display my routing table, so I'm going to type show IP route. All right. Show IP route here. So you can see all the route that has been learned. So this is the network 130.10.0.0. It passes via 
this interface 10002. This network, this is a remote network. Now, it comes to this router. So where it has to go through, 130 dot, uh, check here. It's via 10.0.0.0.2 to be able to reach here. So I am on Rayu. I have to come here. So this is 10.0.0.2. Now, Joburg, I'm going to do a show IP route here. Show IP route. Here again, what happens? To go to this remote network here, it's going to pass through 14.0.0.2, this interface. Now, Ackerman Lombini. We'll do the same thing here. Show IP route. Show IP route. I'm going to display the routing table. Now, if I want to configure the bandwidth, it's I come on the interface. Let's say here it's serial bandwidth. I configure on serial interface only. So bandwidth. Let's say I want to put it 2,448. That's how I'm going to configure bandwidth on the interface. So I come on the interface, then I'm going to type bandwidth. What are the other commands I can do on the interface? I can configure on the interface. All right. So I am on interface 0 to 1. These are the different whereas on router EIGRP, here I have a command EIGRP. Let's see, I uh, after EIGRP, what can I configure? So you can see all the commands here. On Lombini now, I want to show IP protocols. So when we do show IP protocols, these are the commands that we are going to see. You check the metric here will be displayed. The EIGRP metric. Here it's going to be displayed. All right, K1, K2. So you have to do show IP protocols. If I do show
let's do so e i g r p t p l o g so i p so i p e i g r p the pedology the pedology it's what i'm going to get so all v the full uh, topology table wherever eijp will be traversing the network if i say show ip eijp neighbors so i am on lombini i am on lombini so this is my neighbor this router is my neighbor here 14.0.0.0 this is the router it's going to go to the remote networks i want to check what are the other etc so that's it so thank you for your attention